I'm over at Lock-In. This used to be the RAF base, and this is where there was a run. There were runways here. There were billets for the RAF personnel, the soldiers, if you like to call them that, airmen. And Zara's dad was based here as a very young man uh, when he joined the RAF. He might have joined the RAF when he was 17, 18. I think more like 17. He was in it for a couple of years. Um, his brother had been in the RAF as a professional um, career RAF man and had seen act action. Um, Pete had probably done a bit, a little bit in the time he was uh, in the RAF. I got a feeling he might have been in the medical side of it. I can't remember now. I know he wanted to do RAF dogs, so whether he did dog handling, because I know he liked... That was one of the things. I can't remember if he did dog handling or if he went into the medical side as a medic or to train to be a medic. Um, so anyway, I'm out here. This, like I said, this was all to do with the RAF out here. And there will be old pictures online which I will get and I might add to this video. So what Zara's got to remember is her father was out here. He joined the RAF. I think he started off when he left school doing a, as a mechanic and his brother probably encouraged him to join the RAF. Uh, they, they, they were a military family. I mean, his grandfather went down in the AE-1 submarine, one of the first, one of two submarines ever given to the Australian Navy. And Zara's father, a grandf great-grandfather, went down on it in 1914. Um, so they broke that and they went in the RAF um, her uncle and her dad the Pete did eventually leave trained to be a registered mental nurse a social worker and eventually he, he was doing psychotherapy and I think he went back for a while to work in the mental hospitals but it was tough. It, it was tough, tough work in there. There was a lot of... He, he had to put up a lot of violence against him from the patients. Um, that's just a little bit of history, really, of looking. It's got a big history. Um, I know the royal family, Duke of Inner and Queen, have visited this base in the past. Probably quite a lot. I think there was a type of attachment to Weston the Queen had. And it's quite possible that during the war, they might have come. I know he was in the Navy, the Duke of Edinburgh, but he did do a bit of flying as well. Anyway, folks, I'm out here. It'll probably be windy. There's all the little boxes. Little boxes, little boxes. Little boxes made of ticky-tacky. Little boxes, little boxes, little boxes all the same. There's a blue one and a green one and a pink one and a yellow one. And they're all made out of boxes, little boxes all the same. I always remember that song. <laughs> Haywood Village this is called. I've not wandered round it yet. I think there's supposed to be doctors there, schools, shops, pubs, oh, a new type of uh, estate really. And over there we've got Huttonwood. I'm heading for Huttonmore. This is Huttonmore. I'm heading towards where the reed beds are. Landscaped to to help with the drainage here because basically I expect they want to build on this that's all built on swamp I don't know how they can get away with it really what with the tides rising and the sea don't forget enters underground as well it's not just on the top that it comes in it fills up underneath right right over there we see some big hump that's some but well wood which I've been up there's a tower on the top which I've um, 
been close to. There it is, just a little point sticking up. That's Bam. There's some locking church there. That's Banwell Wood, and then further on over there you've got Banwell Hill Fort and uh, Rowbarrow Hill Fort. But they won't come out very clear. It's not a very good day today for photography. It's half sunny and half grey. It's supposed to brighten up this afternoon. Uh, generally, this week's weather is supposed to be dry and sunny, but towards the end it's supposed to get... Um, Colder. Now I just thought I saw some sort of creature then. Yeah, what's that? That could be a heron. Yeah, that's a heron. I bet that heron is the one that flies over to Grove Park to pinch the fish out of the um, the pond there. They probably nest over here. You see, he's hiding around that bush. It'll, it'll appear again in a minute. Um, there he is. He has a heron. In the reed beds, which is, I'm going to walk around the reed beds. Normally I go from over there, I go along there, and I go round the other side of the reed beds. <sighs> but today... I spoke to a girl last week when I walked the other direction. I'm doing the reverse today. Um, she told me about that. You can walk here. I could have, in theory, walked round and curled up round this way, closer to the reed beds. But uh, I'm heading over that way now. It might be boggy. <sighs> yeah, so here we are. Look. There's Western Woods. I'll just zoom in to the thinning area where the clearing is. See the thin trees there? They're going to start taking them down soon. Even look, It looks like they have already. It looks thinner from yesterday. They've probably been up there already cutting them down. It's really got thin. I've got images of that wood well, for the, for the last, for, for ages. Right then, folks, I'm going to turn off now. Um, I just, what I'll do, I'll just climb up this bank before I turn off. It might be windy, it might be unbearably windy. The heron's still over there. You see something else white. They get, I think you get swans and other sort of bird life here. But it, like I said, it's not very good for, it's not really very good for photography today. It's very grey. We've had some terrible grey weather. But I'm still doing the photography with the greyness because I think that's real. When you start adding these filters, making it all look all fluffy and pretty, it's not real. I do my photography as it is. And if it's grey and horrible, it's grey and horrible. Right, I'm going to end the video with that heron. He's really having a good old wander about, isn't he? Over and out, folks. He's looking for a fish, probably. Just a small video at Hutton Moor. This is where all the reed beds are. I've just walked from right over there. There's the woods over there, the little boxes. Um, this is um, a landscaped area to help with the drainage and there's a lot of people over there lots of people on the bank so I imagine they must be watching something what's that there? a little bit of rubbish Nice view there, look. It's Banwell. Hell and wood. There, some birds up. There's loads of people over there. Look. 
Who'd want to go out and be amongst all that? <coughs> Weird, isn't it? Right, I'm just videoing everyone because um, I haven't done, I haven't walked here. Before. I haven't walked on this side before. I can hear the linnets. That noise, they, they sort of nest close to the ground. You get them over at Sand Bay Beach. There's a lot of people here. A lot of people. There must be a rare bird or something. Normally when you get lots of people out like this, it means there's a rare bird. They've probably got their cameras. They've probably put an image of me up now. Don't know if you can pick sound up. All I know is um, there must be something of interest for all those people to be over there. Yeah, it's very interesting though, isn't it? The big the conservation area that this is. I never went that way now it would have been they're all lined up um, the other side of the ditch but there must be something going on all right and I'll just zoom in over there we got um, Hutton Church there which I sometimes walk around there it is look and behind it is Hutton Woods looks like it's going on for, I can't quite see the time, it could be 20 past 11, it could be nearly 12 o'clock, can't tell, but there's the wood. And I tend to go up somewhere there, up that way, over there. Somebody must have got word of something for all these people to be out. I don't know what it is because there's some um, lots of people, lots of them. Um, probably just, probably it's probably just some swans. I saw swans there the other day. But of course, some birds land here, um, lay their eggs, or they come to come here for the summer, and. Um, and they, they just land for a short period of time, then they go. Then they go, you see. Lots of people can up, but I can't, I can't see anything. I reckon it's just swans, personally. But anyway, everyone, here we go. I'm on part of my walk. I've walked, really, from right over there, long way over by the beach, all the way round so far. And I'm on the turn, believe it or not, I'm actually on the turn. I'll go up through the wood and then head across the golf course, down Hellinch Hill, over to Bleeden, past the Anchor Pub, or, or I might go up up Pern Hill. It's a place called Pern Hill. God, look at these lovely catkins, everyone. Look at those, aren't they pretty? God, aren't they lovely? Beautiful. Right, I'm going to take some pictures of these over and out.